young age due to complications with viral pneumonia. And so ever since then, we've had this festival in memory of him. Uh, uh, this festival is completely student run. Everything you see is put on by students. And it's a time for every DSA student to celebrate what they love and go out and experiment with their arts and just have a safe community and festival to celebrate that. And so it's put on by SPA Board, which stands for Students of the Performing Arts. And Emily and I are the drama representatives for that. And so, okay, so we're here to present this show by the Thespians Club, which was written by the creative writers. Yeah, okay, that's all, yeah. Oh, okay, that's all she Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is every year on this, the uh, creative writers write us a couple of scripts and we look at them and choose one. So this is student written and it's done by the Thespians done in a really short period of time, so you'll, you'll see how good our students are. So we hope you enjoy it. Yeah, that's my name. Uh, 
I'm going to take a water. Take a piece. I know who you are. You'd be quite interested to barge me here. I'm wondering if we could ask you a few questions about your career. Do you not see me in the middle of a conversation with these two? It's urgent matter, guys. Can it not wait? Excuse me, I'll just be a minute. Well, about your husband, Leo. What has he done this time? I mean, what's about? Afraid he's dead. Dead? You mean. He was killed? Yes, ma'am, I'm uh, very sorry. Don't shout at the face. What was it? So we're trying to figure out, ma'am. You, uh. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure you're withholding any information from this will be arrested? I know what happens. I don't need a lesson. It was his business, not mine. He chose to keep it private. I, I let him and hoped that he would treat me the same way. It doesn't seem like you two were that close. We haven't been spending as much time together lately. He spends most of his time here. We're out of work. May I ask where you were this morning? Oh, you don't think I did it? Why would I kill him? Just answer the question. It's protocol. If you insist. I left our house after breakfast to do some shopping, and 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 I came back around noon, and, and then I went to the park with my friend Molly since it was such a nice day. A small person can vouch for you. I'm sure she can. So you just happened to come back to your apartment around the same time your husband was murdered? Yeah, I wanted to drop off what I bought. Is that all you did? You didn't notice anything was suspicious? No. I was only at the apartment for a few minutes. I didn't see Leo. I was already late, and I went to meet Molly, and then, and then I came here. Leo and I, we were supposed to go to the movies tonight. This hardly seems like a place for you to go on a tour. This is my husband's restaurant, Detective. I come and go as I please. Leave poor Marge alone, will ya? Yeah, who are you guys, anyway? <coughs> Detective Walker, <laughs> you're interrupting the police interrogation. Yeah, what's Marge got to do with you? You two are harassing her like you just murdered somebody. We're investigating the murder of Leo Capelli, so unless you uh, have any information, we appreciate it. What? The boss is dead? Who did it? I bet it was Bruno and Eddie. They wanted something. Sounds like you know Leo well. Do you know what, uh, I think we're done questioning this. I'm going to ask if you still have a few questions. <sighs> when was the last time you saw Leo? I saw him last week when I helped him move some stuff <coughs> out of his apartment. He hadn't really been around lately. I mean, we don't see him unless he wants to see us anyway. And, uh, this is his restaurant, correct? Oh, yeah, because like he's been real busy lately. <coughs> Ask Bruno and Eddie. They look like they've seen him. Alright, no pointing fingers just yet. Come back if we have any more questions. Bruno! Hey! Yeah? What do you want? Yeah, we what know what you did. What well, we did? What are you talking about? About Leo. How he died. We know you guys did it. Oh, oh yeah, you got any proof? Proof? We don't need proof. We know it was you. How do you know? Huh? Are you so sure? He owed you money, right? He didn't pay you up and you two got impatient as usual. Oh, I'll tell you, that is complete and utter. What? We ain't seen him since January. What are you talking about? Really? What's going on? Why is everyone so hostile? What's going on? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll explain later. We got the answers. Excuse me. All right, just be careful. These guys are tough. Anyways, as I was saying, we didn't do nothing to me. We haven't seen the guy since January. He owes us money. That's why we're here. Yeah. Okay, well, if it wasn't you guys, then who did it? Huh? Who killed Leo? We don't know. Like Eddie said, we ain't seen him since January. You know, guys, let's just go sit down. He's not the most important. Hey, Carl. We got a few questions for you regarding the death of Leo and Kelly. What? Oh, Leo is dead? Seriously? When did this happen? I found his body in this apartment this afternoon. Wow! That's, uh, that's terrible. What questions did you have for? Right. When was the last time you saw Leo? Uh, well, he came around here about a week ago, just to take out a few things. I haven't seen him, I was there. And, uh, do you know anyone who had it out for Leo? Anyone who had a vote with him? Well, uh, those two fellas over there. I just know they want a couple of hours. That's it. All right, uh. Look, I think the old man just brought us out. All right, cops haven't looked over yet. Let's still sneak out of here. Come on. Hey, watch where you're going. Hey, yes. Where you go, dude. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, stop. Hey. Bring it up. You too. Sleep, it's Saturday. Did anyone verify that? 
that for us. Now we're sleeping? No. We just have to take our word for it. Carol tells us that there's a big tension between your group and Mr. Kelly's. What group? Got the crap. We're, uh, we could finish this at the station if you prefer. Well, we weren't exactly pals, if that's what you mean. We've been led to believe that your group is pretty aggressive towards theirs. Aggressive? No, no, they were the steam ones. You know how many black eyes I've gotten just by looking at these guys? Yeah, if anything, they were always one stop fights. Oh, uh, fights, uh, what are they about? Tough, mainly. We didn't want them coming in on our business. The restaurant business. Yeah, that business. Oh, yes, restaurant business. Sure. <laughs> Did you know Mr. Kelly personally? Well, we had a few business encounters, but we weren't exactly the first invited over to be invited over to his house for dinner. Like I said, our groups didn't mix well. And, um, when is the last time that you two saw Mr. Kelly really alive? A couple months ago. We had to check up on him. Check up on him? But yeah, he kind of owes us. Owes you what? Money. A lot of money. A bunch of money. A lot! That's all you need to know. What's the money for? Uh, I suppose he had a bit of a shaky start. It's for business, mainly. He's owed us this for a long time. It hasn't done anything to ease the tension. And with him being dead, it makes our jobs much more difficult. <laughs> what job specifically are you talking about? We check up on him every month. Make sure he's paying in. And he was late this month. This is the first time he's been late on his payments? No. He was very behind. The boss wasn't happy with him. Oh, unhappy enough to murder him. Whoa, whoa. He was a deep. Look. We want murderers. We didn't kill anybody. Well, you know what I think. I think you two did kill him. I think your boss gave you more you could use it. Bam! Sounds right to me. Oh yeah, what proof you got, huh? You can't pin this on us. All right, Walker. Can't jump to conclusions. All right. So when you confronted him, how did he seem? Calm? Anxious? Angry? Well, he seemed stressed, but uh, I don't think it was the money that was driving him. He was uh, uncomfortable. With other aspects of his life. What do you mean? I've read the rooms, and I'm pretty sure she has too. Rumors about what? I think Mr. Capelli and the missus weren't exactly getting along well. He wasn't satisfied, but he found ways around that. Are you saying he was having an affair? Well, I'm just saying I'd ask the wife a couple more questions. Look, officers, it's getting late. We got things to do. You done yet? Not exactly, but we could take a break if you'd like to think. We would suggest you stay here, especially considering how much we know about your jobs. Mrs. Pelly, we're wondering if we could ask you a few more questions. Oh, by all means, pride is my life even further. Really, it's not like I'm going through anything. The tone is unnecessary, ma'am. We're wondering if, uh, when was the last time you saw Leo? Uh, well, it was around the morning of when I was at our apartment after breakfast. How was your marital relationship with him? It hasn't been perfect lately. We were on the ropes. Do you have any thoughts that you could possibly be having an affair? Any thoughts? I was sure of it. So you knew he was having an affair then? Definitely don't doubt him. Did you know who the other woman was? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that was Lucy over there. So look at her. I'd like to smack that grin right off her face. Hmm. Were you angry with him? What do you think, officer? Angry enough to kill him? Officer, I was hurt and I was upset. I couldn't kill anybody. I'm too faint to heart. No laughing, Madam Mrs. Belly. <laughs> Why not? This is a new dawn for me. It's, it's my Independence Day. The son of a gun is dead. Hey, sounds like a confession to me. Officer, just because I'm glad he's gone doesn't mean I was the one to do it. Though I commend the soul who had the guts. Mrs. Belly, show some respect. Respect? Where was my respect? When you find me my respect from him, then we'll talk. Fair enough. We're going to go over our notes. If you wouldn't mind staying here a little bit longer, it's much appreciated. Now I do, and you want to rush me off? We're not 
I'm going to drop the light on my spaghetti. Waiter! I can't believe Leo's dead. See, I wonder who killed him. I don't know, but I heard some gal over there say he was shot. Who would do such a thing? Probably one of those guys he owed money to. Well, I don't think he's in with a flower. I heard he's in with the cops. Well, what do you mean? A little birdie told me he's friendly with the law. Well, how so? I heard that he's the one who told the cops. Well, I don't know. This bar has never been busted through the booze. Some say it's because he's good at keeping it out of sight. Some say it's because he, it's because he cut deals with the badge. What are you two babbling about? Oh, nothing. We were just discussing Leo. The, the man's not even dead a day. You're already spreading garbage about him. Sorry, we didn't mean no harm. Get out! Get out! How dare you do so much to look at old man's and talking garbage about him? The boss is gonna like me talking to cops. Yeah, he's gonna think we've been squealers. I'm not a snitch. I, I know, I know. But the boss won't. Stay calm, right? We just, you know what they do to squealers. Uh, we got a convention, we didn't. How about we just get out, walk out? And, and if the cops try to stop us, we do what we gotta do to save our hides. Go back inside, Alex. This damn thing doesn't work. Your worst way is supposed to. It's okay to be upset about Leo. Get off me. Why should I care about a man who brought me nothing but pain? Leo is a liar and a cheat. And I love him. He did a lot of bad things, but he was, he was a good person. I know we were very cold to each other in public, but at home we were very passionate. He was the only person who truly cared about me. What am I going to do without him? You're going to get through this. You have a whole crowd of people in there who love you and want the best for you. It wasn't just Leo. You just need to go home and get away from all this chaos. Oh. <laughs> all right, everybody, we're going to have to keep you all here a little while longer. Why? What? Yeah, nothing's conclusive. We have evidence just. Hold up a minute. What about Bruno and Eddie? You said those two were your prime suspects. You trying to say something, Vinny? Keep cool, Vinny. We've already got one issue on our hands. How can I keep cool when you know these two believe you killed hey. Leo? I didn't kill anybody. We don't know that they did kill him. We know that they killed him. Leo owed them money, and they killed them for it. You can't Simple make that. You can't make accusations like that. Eddie, you're about to talk. You're over there defending your friend who had an affair with my husband. And and you keep saying she has it, and we can't make accusations! Yeah, you You're only angry because Leo preferred me. Oh. <laughs> Don't talk to me! You haven't done anything to solve my husband's murder! You have your suspects right in front of you, and you're not doing anything! You're doing the best you can, man. No, you're not! No, you can't leave. Why not? This is your Why can't we leave? Yeah, why can't you? You just said you don't have any suspects. Keep your mouth shut. Don't talk to him like that. You have a problem? You here. Well, it's a tough talk for a cop. <laughs> Get back in, my boy. Keep cool, Benny. So why can't we leave if we haven't done anything? <coughs> haven't done anything. Haven't done anything. You slept with my husband for who knows how long. That's your fault, honey. Had you treated him better, he wouldn't have resorted to better treatment. You have me. Hey, 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 Someone else slept with a husband? You two are just outright saps. Boy, do we have a problem? This is how you do things. I got a problem with you too. Well, you know, I think I can fix that water. So are you two gonna do anything? Did you guys just forget that Bruno and Eddie were at his apartment last night? And then that's 
said anything about that during questioning? Because it didn't matter. We didn't kill anybody. Yeah. You know, it doesn't seem that way. <laughs> well, we didn't do anything. We didn't kill anybody. Sure. You say, Brute, uh, that Leo owed you money? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you two withheld information that put you in the room. Seems like you were the ones to do it. But why would he kill someone that owed us money? I don't know. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe you went too far. Either way, it looks more like you two than anyone else. So why don't you two arrest them? No. We'll take him into further questioning at the police station. No. We, we, we didn't do anything. We can't arrest us. Hey, hey, we're taking into questioning. We're not arresting you. Yes, you are. I'm not being arrested for someone else's crime. Yeah! This cop is Bill Billy. Put your hands behind your back. Why can't you take us quiet? Peace. It's for our safety, Mr. Bill Billy. Go long, Eddie. Business, my wife, kids, clothes. Boys, we knock on my door any second now. Won't you about cutting deals with Frank, kid? It's ruthless. I'm stuck here, bro. I don't know what to do. What do I do, Carl? What do you say just to uh, get out of town for a little while? Time to pay up. Yes, cash. Do what? This is all I know how to do. It's shady business. There's nothing else I can do. I'm just... I'm just in over my head. Marge, the kids, they're all in it. All because of me. Oh, don't say that. Everybody makes these kind of mistakes. No, 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 they don't. They don't go ruining everything they got going for them. Not like this. And Rose. You figure they know about Rose? Never know. You know I never approve. You think I give a damn? Not. What am I gonna do? I can't just sit here and watch while they. No, I gotta do something. I gotta do something. Hold on, Leo. I gotta go work with my shift at the bar, but if you need anything, anything at all, just let me know, okay? Yeah, alright. Hey, I'm serious, Leo. You know, I've been around since your pops died. I'd say it, well, you know, anything you need. Yeah, I appreciate it, Kyle. I really do.